In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the scripts part of the Script Atlas software. So when you first open the software, you just click on the left menu here, scripts, and that will bring you to the scripts section. If you um, want to make this a little smaller, you can click up here and it will just kind of minimize that area for you. And in here, you'll find all the scripts. So if you want to see all the scripts, you just click here and it'll show all of them. Uh, at the time of recording this video, there's 128 in here. But you can also go and use these categories here. So they're just summarized in some of these categories. You want to get them quicker. If you want to do something for email marketing, do some letters, um, you know, marketing or podcast research, reviews. Goes all the way down. For example, video scripts. So let's just go back to here to say advertisements. They're actually quite self-explanatory on how to use these. And so I'm just going to be really quick in this video because uh, there's no need for me going through 128 different scripts. So let's go ahead and just select one. Let's go ahead and do like Facebook ads, for example. So all you have to do is you click continue. And what that does is it brings you over to the basically the built-in browser. But you'll see along the left-hand side here, you'll have a bunch of questions. Now, I like to call these guided prompts. So the idea here is... Um, Get, dismiss that. The idea here is basically you select the script that you want and then you answer some questions and it will pump out a nice prompt for you and you take that prompt and you can copy it into your favorite AI generating engine. Now as you can see here I'm using ChatGPT. You're not only limited to ChatGPT and the reason I decided to use a built-in browser as opposed to using like an API is to save save you money basically because using API will and can add up month after month to you know over a hundred bucks sometimes I've seen it so if you want to save on those costs this is a lot easier to do and you're not just limited to ChatGP so if you go and click the bookmarks up here you'll see it will come pre-loaded with some bookmarks that you can use so obviously you got ChatGPT you can use Bing. Bing has a big advantage because it uses its own search engine along with ChatGPT, so it's kind of like a little better. Um, same with you.com, they have their own search engine built into it, I find that very well. And of course you can use Bard, which is Google's AI tool. And there are some experimental ones in here, but right now in this video, I just wanna concentrate on how to use sort of the script, so we're not gonna get into that right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and answer these questions here. And for simplicity, I'm just gonna use the actual example. So let's just put fitness app here. What is the target audience? People interested in fitness and exercise. Do a call to action. And then you wanna select your tone. So there's a whole bunch of options here. I'll just go ahead and keep with excited. And then we'll do the three top benefits. Then when you're done that, all you do is you click generate prompt. It will generate a nice um, formatted prompt so, you, prompt so you don't have to like figure out how to write it. Then you can just copy this and come right on over to ChatGPT and just paste it in. And then you'll get your ad here. Then you can take your ad and go ahead and copy that into your um, Facebook ads account there. If you wanna save this to your computer, and you definitely can do that using the built-in editor. So let me just quickly show you that. So what you can do here is you could uh, you can click to save this. Just down here, they have an option here to copy to your clipboard. Then you can open up your editor. And in here, you can paste it. And now you can save this to a file if you'd like. You can even save it to a snippet if you'd like to add a whole thing to a snippet. I'll have another video on how to do that. Just little chunks of content if you'd like to save ads to a snippet, a custom uh, snippet category. Another option is if you're working within ChatGPT, there are some options here that are only specific to the ChatGPT and not the other engines. So you can extract the, the entire actual chat content if you'd like and bring it right over to the editor. So I can kind of show you that here. So if I go like this and go, it will extract the entire thing for you right in there. So you can see this is the input. This is what ChatGPT gave me. So you can save your chat. You can even save all your chats, but I'm gonna do that in another video. Um, you can save the chat content to an HTML file if you'd like. So same idea is coming over here and saving it to an HTML file. So you can see it's pretty easy to work with your scripts. 
Let's go ahead and try a different one. Now, if you don't want to go over to the script section, you can just stay inside here and actually select all of the different scripts from a drop down menu here just to make it a little bit convenient. But going over to the script section, I like this because you can do an instant search. So if you're looking for something to do with a, a like a product, you can type in product and everything that has the word product in will show up. So it's like, well, I want a product title. So let's go ahead and generate a possible product title and do that here. And I'll create the prompt, copy and paste. So it's quite self-explanatory, but I highly recommend going through some of these things. And you can look like, for example, into the ebook section here and you can find a niche, get a get an idea for your, your ebook, do a headline, introduction, create your chapters. You kind of just do it step by step and you can keep saving everything into your editor. I'll do another video on talking about all these crazy awesome features I put into the script editor. Absolutely love this thing. There is a ton of different things you can do in this um, HTML editor. It's a full blown HTML editor with a whole whack load of tools in there. So it's pretty awesome. So like I said, I don't want to drag out this video too long because it's pretty self-explanatory how to use the scripts. I wanted to make it as simple as possible. You simply just click, answer some questions, copy the prompt over to your favorite engine and generate your content and you're uh, good to go to get the content you need.